Personally, I studied business and worked in finance for five years, so um, I started off somewhere very different. But uh, I guess driving past the Frankfurt airport every day uh, was too much to bear, uh, not being part of it. And uh, I decided to do a 180 turn and um, yeah, follow my childhood dream. Well, I think simply put, uh, it's a childhood dream, um, like for many of us. Um, I started flying as a passenger very early on. As a child visiting my, my family in the US, um, we flew there quite often, so I got to experience that whole aviation world and vibe uh, very early on, and was fascinated by the aircraft, the, the, the complexity of everything, all the magic buttons in the cockpit, and uh, you know, that little boy fascination then with time evolved into a genuine interest in, in aircraft and aviation and flying, and uh, I decided that's something I'd like to do. Um, my uncle in the U.S. is also a pilot. Um, he also showed me very early on uh, lots of parts of aviation, showed me aircraft, showed me simulators. So he also helped me build that desire. And um, yeah, in the end, uh, it's, uh, it's just something I feel at home with. Uh, it's weird to say at the airport that uh, I feel at home, but <laughs> I guess that's a good sign. Well, I was looking uh, for a large school that could offer me uh, a good package and uh, also offer me um, good contacts into the into the industry uh, after my training. And BA fulfills both those requirements, so I decided to apply. And during the uh, procedure, during the assessment, uh, we, we all liked each other, so uh, I decided to go for it and uh, start my training with BA. It's very hard to pinpoint a single moment, I would say. Um, for me, it took a little bit of adjusting. Uh, I've been out of school for a while, so getting back in the classroom, getting back to studying, uh, took a little bit to, of adjusting to do. But um, in the end, it worked out and it was very rewarding and the whole experience was very memorable. Um, I'd say if I had to choose something, it was would probably be um, uh, meeting all the classmates from all over Europe and learning together with them. And um, also, especially, maybe that is the most memorable is uh, learning from different instructors with different backgrounds, different experience, and uh, a lot to teach us and uh, very unique personalities. Um, yeah, that was probably the, the funnest part, the most memorable part. Well, I'd say uh, follow your dreams, uh, do what you're passionate about. Um, Personally, I studied business and worked in finance for five years, so um, I started off somewhere very different. But uh, I guess driving past the Frankfurt airport every day uh, was too much to bear, uh, not being part of it. And uh, I decided to do a 180 turn and um, yeah, follow my childhood dream. So yeah, all I can say is uh, don't be afraid of change. Uh, sometimes it's the, the most beautiful, the best thing that can happen to you. It'll make you a lot happier if you're following what you really want to do. And um, yeah, I think we should all do more of what makes us happy. Yes, uh, definitely. Um, I think BA offers a great package for aspiring pilots. Um, you know, now the, the packages with uh, the cadet programs type ratings uh, are even better than when I applied. So. I would say go for it. Um, personally, I have a very good relationship with management. The door really is always open and uh, there's lots of mutual respect there. And for me, it's been a very good experience so far. So I would definitely recommend it. And um, yeah, like I said earlier, um, don't be afraid of change, chase your dreams. And I think BA will do whatever they can to help you achieve those dreams.